itu. So bila you hilang kerja, you don't know what to do. The best part for you to do is um, for you to survive through business. So kalau you tak ada business pun, uh, macam mana nak buat kan? Sebab you tak ada barang, lepas tu you tak ada digital, you tak ada support. What to do? So apa yang I akan share hari ni is totally everything. Um, I can say 90% apa yang I share is free. Uh, you boleh buat sendiri tapi melalui channel-channel yang betul sebab sekarang ni um, Facebook, social media lah I can say Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp they are very strict on what you are sharing. Kalau you share salah je, they will penalize your account and apa nama ni even if you salah aja nama dia orang pun they will uh, block whatever ads that you are doing. So macam membazir, you don't have to do ads actually. So apa yang I ajar ni is more towards uh, what you can do on your own. So basically our company ni kita dah start since 2016. Our uh, basic is to help all the SMEs and also the B40s. But um, during this time kita tak, tak Nak kata kita tak membantu uh, big companies pun ya juga because big companies, they already have their own team. For SMEs and B40, you don't have your team. So what you can do is, you can actually develop your own marketing team and you can actually do uh, digital marketing untuk uh, your own brand. So brand tu apa dia? Kita nak tahu juga brand tu apa. Before you know what is brand, you have to understand what is marketing. Marketing ni sebenarnya banyak. Betul. Orang selalu kalau you tanya dekat dalam Facebook pun, diorang akan cakap, you nak marketing apa? Marketing tu banyak. Yes. Sebab marketing ni, apa yang kita, apa nama ni? Apa yang kita share selalunya is that uh, marketing ni adalah satu benda Satu brand yang you kena wawarkan, you kena jadi kepo lah pasal barang you. For example, nama I. I akan sentiasa bagi tahu orang, my name is Alita Abdullah. I'm from SNA Advanced Solution. Alita Abdullah is my personal brand name. So, apa saja yang I buat, I akan tulis dekat dalam my blog, my um, contact, my uh, social media. I will always put my name. Uh, Alita Abdullah. I never put my name as sepanjang-panjangnya. Uh, Alita Abdullah guru social media. Ah, gitu tak ada. Okay. I just use my name tu sahaja. Then you use your brand name which is your company name or you punya product name. Selalu marketing kita kena selalu repeat. Kalau you tak repeat, you tak tahu apa yang you, apa uh, uh, orang tak tahu apa yang you jual. And untuk you tahu uh, apa nama ni uh, digital, what is actually digital? Digital ni yang orang selalu um, confuse, dia ingat uh, benda tu adalah uh, software sahaja but it's actually not. Dia uh, digital ni is about communication, service, hosting, network, support, hardware, database, security application. So that's why bila orang cakap digital, eh do you do uh, web application? Uh, do you do uh, server? Kita buat semua. Internet tu adalah semua. Itulah digital. Tapi bila you nak buat digital marketing, apa dia? Uh, so orang selalu dekat sini dia akan dia akan bagi tahu juga digital marketing ni besar tak? Apa you nak? Sebab dia ada website, dia ada SEO, dia ada electronic devices, dia ada analysis, dia ada content, dia ada search, dia ada research, dia ada viral. What do you want? So bila you ada all this marketing effort, you jadi pening sebab benda tu terlampau luas. How are we supposed to do this bila you are not a professional? Actually, you can. With these five things, you mesti ada. It's a must-have list. You mesti ada brand, number one. You must have a website, number two. You must know what is your call to action. Uh, and then your social media platform and your content bank. Selalunya, bila orang cakap pasal digital marketing, eh, 
dia akan selalu bercerita tentang social media platform and also uh, content bank where they will always ask like can you do for me uh, content creation everybody can do content creation but social media platform you is it strong enough for your brand for example you are selling nasi lemak uh, apa your jiran pun uh, jual nasi lemak but your social media platform lagi besar daripada yours so big possibility you punya yang walaupun murah dia akan tenggelam because people doesn't know dia tak kenal you dia tak kenal brand you and then when you don't um, give a trust on your brand they will they will go like um, I tak pernah tengok you punya uh, barang lepas tu orang pun tak pernah bagi review so I don't know whether I can trust you or not to buy your product so what you can do is number one every brand you must have a logo so bila logo tu daripada uh, for example kalau kata you nak buat apa saja brand lah tak kisahlah you nak buat brand new uh, makanan ke in whatever industry you have to make sure your logo look very compelling um, it must be very uh, orang kata uh, senang nak ingat lah you can uh, always remember the colors especially the colors these are my my uh, as a graphic designer myself this is the, the standard of a logo that you must have. Number one, always remember, never have more than three colors. You must either, either or. Warna merah ataupun warna hijau ataupun apa saja color yang prime you boleh pakai. Uh, never use, uh, orang kata, color pastel with other colors yang yang lebih uh, terang uh, macam tu. So, in terms of logo juga, dia ada tiga benda in there. One is icon, two is typography, and three is the combination of both of them. Kalau you buat logo, you rasa you nak buat icon. Make sure your icon can stand alone. Kalau you buat icon, tapi you nak pakai typography as well. You don't confuse your audience because your audience are going to see your logo and they are going to pick up what is your brand about. So if for example, uh, my pusaka from one get go, you already know this company is doing uh, perancangan pusaka. So this is what I did. From that logo, you boleh terus dapat the collateral. These are the collaterals that based on the logo itself. So daripada logo tu, you already know my main color is these three colors. Green, yellow, black or white based on the background. So you dah boleh tahu dah, okay, uh, what type of element that I'm going to use. The element over here is my pusaka ni lebih kepada gerun. Macam if you uh, you die early, what happened to your, apa nama ni, uh, to your harta, apa benda semua, inheritance. So this is what they are trying to portray when they started. They want to portray that when you die, doesn't matter whether you have uh, apa nama ni, uh, inheritance or not, you can still uh, buat inheritance punya will. You, you boleh buat you punya will sendiri walaupun kita muda. You still can do, which I already do as well. <laughs> and then uh, from there, you boleh buat video as well. You see like even the video pun you akan tengok macam uh, video tu uh, sama dia punya elemen tu uh, pasal pewarisan harta tu juga based on dia punya logo juga. You tak boleh macam logo cerita pasal benda lain tapi barang you jual benda lain and then video you pun macam tak berkenaan. So people doesn't buy that because orang akan cakap macam apa ni what's this you know you are selling uh, apa nama ni for example insurance suddenly you jual kuih juga hmm, okay you jual apa sebenarnya ni you know they don't feel that you are conf apa you are trusted enough for them to uh, to buy your product and then this one also even police pun uh, ada masalah yang sama uh, polis bantuan pun uh, benda yang sama juga they need rebranding because uh, masa time tu uh, Tan Sri IGP sendiri cakap um, 
the logo is of logo yang lama tak memberikan kesan to the public so this is what uh, apa nama ni uh, we did for them so kita tukarkan uh, apa logo dia to make sure that people can see okay uh, persatuan polis bantuan malaysia is actually under uh, work together with police diraja malaysia which is uh, bukit aman so kita tukarkanlah dia punya tu and then kita buatkan dia punya collateral is always based on the brand again it goes back to the brand kalau macam you tengok big brand dia tak banyak pakai color dia pakai color pun dua je maksimum so kalau yang malaysian punya kalau i nak bandingkanlah kita dengan global we always tend to use too many colors i don't understand why maybe because we already been too custom to local uh, product that we have to we are tend to feel like we have to put everything in there sebab orang nak baca which is wrong the more people see your product are so cluttered they will tend to feel like this are cheap benda tu murah so when it's cheap then your trusted value uh, apa, goes down as well so these are also the videos that we did for them when they are doing apa nama ni logo uh, this one Tan Sri IGP ni lah uh, buat dia punya launching for their new logo so I did dia punya video so I did the video I'm the video editor and also a graphic designer uh, lepas tu tukang cakap pun ya yeah, digital marketing pun aku uh, semualah Hmm, semua semua sini. <laughs> so uh, daripada brand tu, daripada logo eh, daripada logo you can actually stream down to what you want to do and then what you can have, what you want to print and then what you want to portray to people on social media on your digital marketing platform. So this is brand. Brand settle. Budak so sampai dekat brand you dah kena ada website when it, people say website eh uh, website tu maksudnya uh, dia ada banyak jenis people will always tell you oh you want a website yes i can do a website but you yourself do you understand what websites do you want do you want an e-commerce do you want a portal do you want a sales centric website do you want an informative website do you want a personal branding website what do you want because kalau orang kata e-commerce e-commerce doesn't have a lot about about us sebab bila orang dah masuk dekat dalam you punya e-commerce ataupun you punya portal they already know they want to buy something from you so dalam you punya e-commerce tu e-commerce ni macam Lazada, Shopee is a lot. The barang you ada dalam 20 30 barang. You have 20 to 30 products you want to put into the e-commerce, it's worth it sebab e-commerce is expensive. And kalau you ada sikit je, katalah your barang tu ada about 2, then you what will you do? You go for sales centric website. Sales centric website doesn't talk about you as well. They directly uh, buy, you terus bagi orang macam beli barang you without uh, you creating invoice or uh, apa nama ni, uh, creating any other additional work. So, diorang boleh terus beli daripada website you or you dia boleh bagi you uh, apa nama ni, the, uh, the leads ataupun the database, you can ask them uh, their phone numbers and this and what not. Informative website yang selalu I nampak uh, informative website where berjela-jela tulis kat dalam tu you have everything in there you put lah I start daripada 2016 daripada Azali, daripada Perut, daripada Roh tu ha daripada Loh Mahfu saya masuk memang ada dah website ni you cannot do a lot of uh, informative website kalau you are not uh, a corporate corporate yes they have to have an informative website especially for banks sebab diorang kena uh, go through uh, apa nama ni an institution ada dengan uh, bank negara that is one of the uh, apa nama ni dia punya syarat lah you have to have informative website to tell people clearly 
what is your product, what is this and what is that. But for us, for example, SME, to me, SME, you cuma perlu ada e-commerce and also sales-centric. Personal branding, if you are a trainer uh, or you are a photographer, you are a graphic designer, you are a freelancer, personal branding website is very good for you. Sebab dia akan tunjukkan semua your portfolio so that it will, um, apa nama ni, they, they will fall into one house. So website is actually a house where you can, you know, uh, apa nama ni, you can put everything in there. I will share to you kita punya uh, what I meant by the website. Okay. Alright. So, we nampak eh, kita punya, kita punya share screen nampak tak you all? Nampak? Uh, nampak, nampak, nampak. Nampak, nampak. Boleh, boleh. Nampak. So, this is uh, uh, e-commerce. So, e-commerce, dia tak cakap banyak. Dia terus macam, okay, what you want? Shop now, shop now, shop now. And they were just like, okay, this is the delivery process. Because when it's, um, apa nama ni, uh, bila dia e-commerce, definitely you must have a delivery. So, bila sampai dekat sini, they will directly go to shop and they will shop whatever products that you are putting in. Tak kira lah 20 barang ke, 30 barang ke, but it's already here. So, you tak payah pening kepala, okay, I nak bawal hitam lah, okay, masuk, okay, I nak ikan merah lah, okay, masuk, you nak ni lah. And then after that, they just check out. For sales-centric pula, sales-centric dia banyak CTA where it's a call to action. Di mana sahaja dekat dalam website ni, there is a call to action. For example, here, contact us. When you click contact us, it will go to the form. Alright, and then inside this form pula, you have, uh, apa nama ni, dia punya, uh, orang kata, this is uh, appointment. And then, which you need, dah ada, everything are here. And then, dekat sini, you can browse listing. From this listing, okay, you can see the uh, property plans. Dia tak cerita tau, property ni siapa punya, berapa lama buat, apa, what, why is it? They don't tell you. But, they will directly tell you, this is the year launch, this is the build up, this is the selling price, this is price per square feet. Okay, what do you want? So this is a sales-centric website. Informative website is this. Informative dia tak banyak, uh, orang kata, uh, dia tak banyak CTA, dia just more into, apa nama ni, cerita je. Okay, I have this service, do you want it? For example, okay, this uh, WhatsApp, we will always provide an API. This API, dia akan terus pergi dekat the website or we will give to your email. And Definitely dia akan ada banyak lah, okay, dia ada banyak cerita lah about our vision, our mission, our core value, all this lah, barang-barang ni semua. And then you will have a pop-up. Each and every uh, client over here yang kita orang buatkan, memang dia orang akan ada pop-up ni. Based on what they want to pop-up. For this one, they nak database. For this one, they nak uh, promotion. For this one, also promotion. So dekat sini, there's no CTA. They just like, okay, I add the knee and then you just go to my WhatsApp. And that's it. Dia tak ada banyak cerita kat dalam tu. Self-branding means is this one. Dia cerita pasal you je. Gambar you, uh, video you, uh, apa nama ni, your, orang kata, anything that you are selling that has the name of you. So even your URL also are going to be, for example, uh, faizalmalik.com.my So, dia akan ada dekat atas ni, it's all about you. Even your email also are going to be about you. So, dekat sini, okay, this is uh, kira uh, masuk berakul lah macam tu. So, kalau you masuk dekat dalam email, email will go to dia punya email and then after that call. And that's it. And then ada video. This is uh, what we call uh, self-branding. Uh, so, kalau you ada jual insurance, if you are an agent, uh, you are, um, apa nama ni orang kata, uh, somebody that has no product but you are selling for someone else, 
this is a very good website for you to help. Sebab benda ni menceritakan pasal you which is people can can tend to go to your website and see apa je yang you jual. For example, you jual kuih kat sini. Lepas tu yang ni you jual um, apa nama ni cheese. Yang ni you jual um, this one you jual food. This one you jual insurance. So people will know like from your name here you are actually an agent for each of this product. And you have your own URL and you have your own email and you don't use Gmail. If people use Gmail, Gmail tu, to me lah, Gmail tu memang nampak kecil tapi uh, it doesn't give that trust value to everybody. Uh, sebab orang akan cakap scammer, dia boleh uh, buat Gmail ni banyak kali. So dia akan cakap macam, are you a scammer? You know, sebab kita, sometimes kita akan rasa macam uh, you know, a bit terasa lah when people say uh, I'm not a scammer, I'm really doing this but our company is very new. Uh, okay, let pe other people buy first then they do the review that I will buy. Tapi you need that one chance. So how to get that one chance, dia agak susah sebenarnya untuk dapatkan that one chance tu kalau kita tak ada, apa nama ni orang kata, kita tak ada langsung uh, the email tu. Kita kena ada email tu sebenarnya. So, okay. And then, the call to action button tu. Uh, okay, apa benda ni? Okay. Marilah. Okay. So, call to action button ni sebenarnya uh, very important where you kena buat dulu before actually you pergi to um, apa nama ni do your posting because call to action ni lah yang akan menjanjikan you database menjanjikan you uh, the leads that you need uh, and people will tend to to ask um, so many questions they are going to say like what are you selling how much is it can you deliver can you do this can you do that Call to action ni, you can cut down the apa nama ni, the question directly to sales. How you cut down is to automate. Automate tu selalunya kita akan ada form. Like just now, we have a, a form where you can do uh, apa nama ni, you can do the appointment. The appointment directly, you click that, okay, we already know you are coming. So, we are going to call you a day before. So, you don't have to contact us like all the time because we don't have time actually for you okay tapi kita nak duit kau faham <laughs> so the uh, we have chat box so chat box ni pula bila kita nak buat chat box you have to have all the faq question in your head to have a faq eh, you have to have Uh, an assistant, you punya assistant tu kena bukan daripada orang company you, kena orang luar. So you have to test them like a test market lah. You have to test them, you have to ask them, uh, sedap tak uh, apa I punya masakan ni? And then they are going to comment, sedap tapi I nak beli macam mana? Oh, you deliver or not? Uh, if you deliver, how much is it? And then you will start to think my price Do I have to put in my website or my uh, promotion link to uh, with the delivery or not? So what kind of research that I need now? So okay, uh, delivery tak masuk sebenarnya. Delivery is based on you. So we are going to something like that. And then the apa nama ni? CTA number three that I like to use is um, FPX payment. This payment you can use IP88, you can use Senang Pay, you can use any payment, paper and this and what not. It's easier for you to take care of your accounting as well. Uh, it's the main reason why people will always tend to think um, e-commerce only other FPX. It's actually not true. If you already have uh, Senang Pay, you already have all these FPX or uh, payment gateway, you can actually embed those in your website. Even normal website pun boleh. So, kalau you ada uh, website, is I like for you to have, if you already have FPX and you already have a website, have a sales-centric website. So that 
this uh, call to action button can be used over there. Okay. And then once you already have all those, you have the brand, you have the website, you have the, your call to action button, everything dah, syn uh, dah synchronized, dah cantik. Then only you PK, you punya social media platform. This social media platform, then you have to think, who do you want to target? Because each and every one of this, dia punya target market meluas. It's very, um, apa, there's no niche actually. You have to tembak all of them. So basically, you still have to have Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Facebook, um, Vimeo. You have to have Periscope. TikTok, I'm not quite sure because TikTok, kalau you have a, a product that is meant for 14 years old to 30 years old, Yes, you can use TikTok, but if your product is for people that is 24 up to 30 to 40, TikTok is not for you. So, jangan gedik-gedik lah kau nak berjoget-berjoget kat situ. Eh, gegam. Tak cantik, okay. Alright. And when you do a social media platform, the social networking in Facebook and LinkedIn, these two are very important because you have to understand, eh? Facebook is for B2C. LinkedIn is for B2B. People always tend to think LinkedIn ni adalah untuk uh, uh, orang kata orang cari kerja. It's not. It's a place where you can actually uh, ask uh, for data or bigger people to buy your stuff. So you can use LinkedIn and also Google. You have to have a Gmail uh, for everything that I'm going to share. Gmail tu sangat penting eh. Uh, so, you punya important platforms you must have untuk you ada product, WhatsApp business number that is not your personal number, Gmail for your business account, Google Business, Google Analytics. Google Analytics ni akan ada once your website is live. LinkedIn business page, Facebook business page, Instagram business page. Where are you going to house all this? Are all in a website. So once benda ni semua dah ada, then we go to content creation. When it comes to content, eh, this is where people selalu lah bombat lah dekat dalam uh, dekat dalam uh, social media, where people say, okay, uh, I need people to do my poster. I want to do infographic. I want to do video. Let me tell you this. If you don't have the brand, you don't have website, you don't have CTA, do not do content because once your content dah keluar, you will definitely get uh, apa nama ni, uh, either a bad review or people are going to comment that you are not responsive to them. Sebab dia tak, dia tak, dia dah tengok dah, okay, I like this shawarma. Tapi dalam tu tak ada information. Then they will start to ask. When they start to ask, imagine this eh. If say you do a content with me, and then I go and viral, viral you punya content for a million view. 10% from that 1 million view are going to contact you daripada you punya WhatsApp. They are going to ask the same question. Shawarma ni ikan ke ayam ke daging? Uh, you buat ni tak? Berapa harga dia? Takkan nak PM? You are going to PM every single one of them. You have to answer every single one of them. And you are going to be so frustrated that you feel like, okay lah, takpe lah, in this poster, I will write everything. Which is also wrong. Sebab, that is where I ask you to do the CTA first. CTA tu lah yang sebenarnya, when they click, it will go where? Adakah dia akan terus balik? Ataupun dia terus bagi you the database? Or dia akan, what what dia, what do you want them to do with your content? Okay. And then, For editing, because when you do content, you must know that you must have a very good um, editing skills. Editing skills ni uh, susah tak? Sebenarnya tak. Because YouTube boleh ajar you, uh, even Google also can can ajar you uh, 
how to do this. So what do you need is you need a great, very good camera phone. Kalau you ada iPhone, iPhone is very good. Uh, you need a tripod. Uh, you need lighting macam ni. Uh, lighting at least two. Uh, why two is because uh, kalau macam lighting macam ni, you see it's very direct to me. So you can see the shadow at this side. If it's two, and then you will see that the shadow will drop in the middle. So, nampaklah barang you ni macam professional yang ambil gambar padahal kita pakai um, apa namanya, camera phone je. And then background photography. Whatever that I'm using behind here is actually a green screen. Nampak tak tangan aku? <laughs> so, I actually wearing the black color one. So, yang belakang ni is a black color background photography where you can buy from uh, Shopee. And light box. For example, if you have a product, uh, you can use a light box and also the turntable. So if you have that turntable to nampak lah cantik you all. Uh, so you can do that. Alright. And after you already have those, these are the... Yang betul lah. Yang betul lah. Yang makan satu je. Ada tu lagi belum buka kan? Hmm. Uh, belum, tak buka lagi. Aku <laughs> jawab. Sorry, sorry. Tengah drive. Kenapa nak tolong bukakan ke? Boleh nak. <laughs> okay. So, untuk... Um... Alright, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, untuk um, you be... Uh, nak kata a professional digital marketer tak lah. But if you want to be uh, different than others, these are the important apps for every owner to have. Uh, you can have Canva. I will show you each and one of this, uh, why it, what it is. Canva is very good. Uh, Remove.bg is also very good. They can remove all the backgrounds. Uh, Bitly is very good juga. Kalau you dah ada Google Form and then you want to shorten the Google Form and then you want to put belakang tu, what is this form punya nama, uh, the form name. And then we transfer. We transfer is actually a uh, a uh, big file uh, folder transfer where, for example, you have a lot of videos that you want to send to somebody. If you want to send through WhatsApp, it's going to compress. So it's not going to very to, to look very good. So kalau you nak pergi, you nak hantar to your editor uh, to do the editing, you can send through WeTransfer and it's not going to uh, compromise the, apa nama ni, the quality. Wave app is actually, um, apa nama ni? It's a very good um, finance app for you. So finance app ni, uh, you can actually do your invoicing, you can do, they can actually give you the, the due dates, uh, orang ni dah overdue, and then they can actually do for you, uh, apa nama ni? Uh, cash flow. So, they can give you cash flow, for example, this year versus last year. Dia boleh tengok uh, you punya uh, kerugian you tu, katalah macam uh, the kerajaan was always, uh, apa, kerajaan hari tu dia ada tanya, you can get the grant kalau you can prove that your sales drop uh, 50%. How are you going to do that? Takkan you nak kira sesuatu? Weh, pening weh. So, if you use with app, they are going to calculate it for you. Eh? Okay, so kita terus ke Canva. Canva ni uh, I think kebanyakan orang dah tahu dah what is Canva kan? Betul tak? Tahu tak Canva tu apa? Betul-betul. Betul. Betul. Tapi Betul. kalau boleh kongsi kan lagi bagus. Alhamdulillah. Eh, kongsi lah ni nak kongsi. Baiklah hmm. saya kongsi ya. <laughs> Okey. Macam ya mana pengkongsiannya. Hmm, gitu. Okey. Okay. okay, tadi kan I ada bagi tahu pasal uh, apa nama ni Why we have to have, kan I punya listing tu I ada tulis uh, The first thing is we need to have Gmail So kenapa kita kena ada Gmail, why is it for our business Because for example katalah this company yang I buatkan uh, This is their Gmail Gmail nampak biasa je, tak ada benda pun. But inside this Gmail, 
you can have uh, you can have Google Business, you can have Google Analytics. Okay, so usually they akan terus minta you masuk dekat dalam ni. So you just sign in. <coughs> All everything is over here, dekat dalam ni. It based on one. So dekat sini. So you boleh tengok all your insight. Okay, orang cari apa dekat I ni, uh, you know. So you can see your listing, your search, your map. Uh, people are looking for you. Uh, where are they? Dia orang ni dekat mana? Lepas tu, do they call you? No, they didn't call. So they want to share the business like you ni. Dia hantar gambar apa benda semua. And then, Google <coughs> Analytics as well. Eh, cebok lah ni. Okay, lepas tu you ada YouTube channel. So satu, you think eh, daripada satu Gmail, from one Gmail, you can open uh, all other social media. So you can check on your uh, overview. You can check on your audience. You can compare. Mana? Okay. See, you can compare over here or you can even do uh, e-commerce. If this is this one can e-commerce study. So you can check lah dekat dalam audience dia tu. Uh, apa yang dia tengok sebenarnya dekat dalam e-commerce tu. So you can see dia orang tengok apa. So for example kita ambil sini custom apply. Kita ada custom. Kenapa custom? Ha, dekat sini pula. Hmm, so you boleh tengok lah dekat sini country mana, city mana, dia tengok ikut browser apa, uh, dia tengok ikut apa mobile, mobile ni pakai iOS, mana dia uh, cap buah banyak lah daripada Android. So screen resolution, screen resolution ni maksudnya uh, ada using mobile ataupun dia orang gunakan uh, laptops what devices they are using, maybe iPad, uh, maybe other stuff lah yang diorang pakai. And then YouTube channel. So YouTube channel ni pun uh, ada juga dekat dalam ni. So you can create a channel based on you punya uh, Gmail tadi tu. So daripada Gmail ni juga, you can open Canva. So Canva ni kita uh, sign up based on you punya Gmail ni tadi ataupun you just log in je. So log in ni katalah you have a team. So your team tak payah kacau your personal one. So they can have the same log in. So they just go in and that's it. Everything is there. For example katalah you have a uh, apa nama ni? Uh, graphic designer that is freelancer. So freelancer tu you cakap dengan dia uh, I want a, I want a logo. So bila you dah kata macam okay I want a logo, what you can do as a marketing executive or you yourself as a owner, you boleh masukkan terus kat dalam ni. So dekat dalam ni browse, apa, browse by category maksudnya you ada Facebook post, you ada Instagram story, you ada Instagram post, you ada Facebook cover, ada flyer, you want to do presentation pun boleh. YouTube channel thumbnail pun ada, card, business card. If you don't have your own logo because you tak kena create your own brand kan, klik je lah kat logo ni. Ah buat lah sendiri ha. Uh, buatlah macam nak frank ke, jangan buat benda macam ni ya, lepuk kan. <laughs> nah, ini ke, eh jangan, jangan, buat perangai kan. Uh, kalau yang macam ni okey lah cantik, tak adalah sakit mata, uh, macam ni comel. Okay. So you can do your own and you can also do your own design. So katalah design you tu kena ada logo. So you download lah logo tu. 
Okay, template. Okay, dalam template ni, dia ada custom dimension tau. Dekat tepi ni. Custom dimension tu, for example, you nak buat printing eh. You tak ada, uh, you tak ada illustrator, you tak ada photoshop. What you can do is, you can go to that, uh, apa nama ni, custom ni, custom dimension ni. For example, you nak buat uh, banting ah, 250 kali, eh no, 80 kali uh, 250. So, dia akan ada design tu. Dia akan jadi memanjang macam ni. Dia tak ada dekat dalam ni. Dekat sini dia takkan ada. Dia tak tunjuk pun. They don't have. Over here they don't have. They only have their own. But we can create also our our own. So what we can do is for example we want to take uh, uh, ni. For example you want to do a uh, banting macam ni. So background you don't want this. You want to change Pilih background, katalah I want this one. Okay, lepas tu this one, I nak tukar white. This one, I want to tukar uh, red. But I want to put my logo also. So I want to see, I don't want this one, delete. I just click, dia akan masuk. Okay, untuk you, dia kecil kan? Nampak kecil macam, alamak aku tak nampak lah macam mana. The trick is either you can click zoom here kan or control plus. So you plus 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 they will uh, uh, come out lah. Okay, you already have your logo here. They will capture the color. So what will you do here? You click here, click on this color, it will appear. Nampak? So you just click that. And then this one, for example, you want the blue. So you click that blue. So this one, you want it to be orange. Okay, orange. This one, shop now is orange. And, dapat dah lah. Taras, susah. Like that je. Okay, you see yang dia punya uh, cross T tu kan? This is the center. They already centralized. So, you nak tukar lagi. Okay, for example, I don't want lah belakang ni. I want it to be solid black. Kan? Tukar lah. This one, you just delete je. So, the background, click here and black. Done. Then, for example, if you want to make it uh, transparency, okay, you jadikanlah dia kecil macam tu. Or you don't want langsung, you can do like that. Alright, and then after that, you download. So, when you download, you can either download PDF print or PDF standard. Normally, if as a printer, I want you to print for me the high quality one. So you have to download the PDF print. And for example, lagi katalah uh, Alita, I nak buat video lah. Buat video mahal. Yes, buat video dengan aku harga Yahudi tu. No lah. <laughs> harga best, harga best saya bagi. <laughs> okay. So for example, you want to do a very simple video. You have your own video and this and what not. You click je dekat video ni tadi. And then you can check on all the results. Either you want it to be something like this. Can, for example, like this. You want this one. So it will run like this. So you don't want this one. You want to change. Okay, click on this video. And they have all the videos over here. For example, you want, like me, I like something that is time lapse. So, Okay, dekat sini, if you see the tulis free, 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 you can use it for free. But if there is uh, like this crown yang ada pro ni, this one you have to buy. So, tak payah belilah. Ha, benda ni menyusahkan je. Okay, so you just uh, direct je, tarik like this. Okay, and then since you already upload your logo tu, and make sure your logo tu adalah the white color or red, uh, black color ke whatever ke. So dia bolehlah blend. Masuk kat sini cantik je. Uh, like that. Kan. So buatlah macam tu. So when you uh, upload this, uh, it's free and then it looks professional. It looks very nice like that. Okay. So this is Canva. 
So kalau untuk uh, apa nama ni uh, untuk bitly pula, bitly tu uh, lain. Okay, bitly. Sekejap eh, bitly eh. Okay. Uh, bitly is this one. Masih boleh tengok kan? Boleh. Okay. Still the same thing. Login <coughs> adalah sama. So you see over here, their login will always ask you uh, your Google. Dia akan tanya you, you punya Google, uh, apa nama ni orang kata, uh, Google punya login. So takkanlah setiap kali you nak masuk for business, you nak pakai uh, apa nama ni, your personal. So tak payah pakai je. Hmm. Okay, and then for example lagi uh, with app tu. Alright. Okay, nak tutup yang ni. Okay, this is with app that I like to use. Uh, usually dia akan suruh sign up for free. So you just sh uh, shine up. <laughs> Okay, you sign up kat ni, dia akan sentiasa tertanya pasal Google. So, you just sign up with Google. Also the same thing. Okay. And then they will ask like, uh, who is your first name? Uh, for example, katalah uh, Alita and then your last name. And then your business name, uh, Suka Malaysia. And then what does your business do? Ah, dekat sini you pilih lah apa yang you buat. Okay, lepas tu, next. So they will ask you what do you want to do. So usually I will ask for to ask uh, nak, nak letak invoice lah. I accept online payment. Uh, what type of businesses that you have. Okay, company you adalah apa? So, proprietorship ke, partnership ke, corporation ke, non-profit ke, you tak sure. So, kalau tak sure, you tak sure. Or else, uh, so proprietorship lah. Okay. Uh, sorry, Puan Lita. Uh, yeah. Can we have another two minutes? Because uh, kita akan mula next session pula nanti. Eh, boleh. Boleh. Tak? boleh. Uh, then, nah, kita ada Q&A about five minutes kan? Ha, alright. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So katalah macam you have uh, okay. Okay. Uh, and then you continue je lah dekat sini. Uh, so basically tak ada benda sangat. Itu je. So bila you, uh, I can share you uh, all these notes untuk you you all buat. Uh, the most important part is the the brand. You kena ada logo. And then you must have your own uh, social media. You must have your own website and then you must have uh, your CTA link. So CTA link ni yang selalunya orang pening. Aida, hai. Ke atas ke? Uh, so CTA link ni selalunya uh, orang pening nak fikir sebab it's a big <laughs> macam ni nak buat benda tu. So what we can help as a SNA, what we do normally, we will uh, be your consultant. Uh, but before we become your consultant, we will ask you to do your own website first. So since now MCO, nobody has, uh, nak kata tak ada duit sangat tu, we still have uh, apa, uh, apa bantuan from, from the government. But what can you do with the money that you are given? So what we did is we do uh, MCO punya promotion where our website kita bagi dalam 750 ringgit net sahaja whoever yang dah ada domain so whoever doesn't have a domain we are uh, giving it for 999 ringgit so we will buy for you your own domain and then after that we will create for you your CTA and then uh, if you don't have a social media we have another package for social media as well so social media ni uh, the best part about us is that we already have our 15,000 leads so setiap kali I create a social media for you, I will make sure at least there will be 1,000 to 2,000 uh, actual followers to go into your website, uh, to, to go to your social media to like and to share. So ada active users kat situ. So maknanya even you are first month, 
you already have uh, a lot of followers. So tak adalah macam you know uh, susah lah you nak you nak naikkan followers because for you to get 2000 followers it will take about 3 years because we have tried. Ada soalan tak? Penat nak no? cakap. Hmm. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much, Puan Alita. Alhamdulillah. Dah habis? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Berjaya. Tak susah. Okay, kita... Alhamdulillah dah habis cepat tu. <laughs> okay, first question. Uh, I rasa dekat Banyak chat tadi. Ah, uh, Okay. Uh, yang saya jumpa dekat chat tadi, what is your personal view on using makewixwix.com as a platform for website and e-commerce transaction? Mm. Okay, uh, I've been into ada apa nama ni, uh, a few uh, talks last time uh, from HubSpot and also Wix and also uh, apa yang satu lagi Spotify ya. Eh? Uh, these three, I asked them a, a simple question. In terms of SEO, they themselves, eh, they themselves mengaku, uh, the SEO won't go to you. The SEO will go to them first. That's why kalau Wix, you cannot search your name or your website uh, in Google because Google doesn't um, apa nama ni, uh, doesn't capture Wix punya uh, uh, platform. Wix punya platform are being used. Uh, Wix platform dia pakai format uh, uh, Flash tak silap eh. So Flash tak ada siapa dah pakai Flash. We are all using uh, apa, WooCommerce or we are using uh, apa, another as, uh, CMS. So Google, actually Google, whatever that we do, Google ni uh, is like our parents tau. So if we develop you a website and you give us, uh, apa orang kata, uh, you give us a team. Sometimes that team, we cannot use it because Google doesn't like it. So we have to do whatever Google like. So Wix is one of it that the, uh, Google doesn't like. So if you want to use Wix, make sure that you have a deep pocket uh, to do Google Ads. Menjawab soalan tak? Tiba senyap pensi. Alright, alright, thank you. <laughs> yes. Alright, Puan Alita, thank you very much. Since kita uh, memang kesuntukan masa, mm -hmm. I rasa uh, better uh, for question uh, we can email to Puan Alita or contact her nantilah SMA ah, yes. advance kan betul ha. boleh you ha, tolong whatsapp Puan Alita sendiri dan kita cuba dapat boleh ha. you boleh uh, apa nama ni uh, scan dekat sini uh, you guys can scan here if you want the MCO promotion you can uh, click on the ni apa left eh uh, left Pasti yang tengah tu, you can WhatsApp to me directly, and then uh, my apa, my website tu is on the far right. Uh, yang ini. Uh. Alright, alright, thank you, Puan Alita. Okay, thank you. Kena, okay, thank you very much untuk your time semua. Kita kena end dulu session ni. Yes. Alright. Sebab free kan? Faham.